Hey y'all, uh, I thought I would get ready this morning. It is 9.47, so yeah, I thought I'd get ready this morning. Um, mm, excuse me. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Primer, the Illuminating Primer this morning. And yeah, most of you know why my makeup's in here. So if you don't, I will refresh you. I wasn't using my makeup at all. I had a beauty room. Well, I guess you could call it a beauty room, but it really wasn't a beauty room. It wasn't much of a beauty room. It was just my spare bedroom that I turned into my beauty room and uh, I wasn't using it much that was also the time that I was working so I uh yeah so I moved so in. I moved it in here but the thing is in here I only have one plug-in as you can see right there that's where it's at so I had to do an extension cord from my Make It Vanity all the way over there. So that's fine. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in uh, Dewy plus Smooth Normal to Dry, dry Foundation in 110 Porcelain. I have been loving, loving this foundation so much. It's not even funny. Like, I mean, I have been loving this foundation. Um, like, this makes the second time that I bought this foundation. <laughs> like, it's the second time ever that I bought it, and I am loving it. Taking my little green beauty sponge that I got from uh, BoxyCharm and uh, just patting that into my skin here. I don't really want much of a coverage today because it's kind of rainy here and I ain't planning on doing much today so yeah I just thought I'd get up and Get ready, I've been feeling blah, blah lately. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this, uh, the setting spray. I ain't gonna butcher the name. And just let that set in there for a few minutes. I'm out of my Morphe setting spray, which is sad because I really love, love that setting spray. I'm gonna have to give me some more of it because I love that so much. Like it's my favorite one ever. And if you want, you can take a fan. You're gonna take your beauty sponge and just tap it in. I usually let that one sit for a while and I don't do nothing to it. And I go in and do my eyebrows, which my eyebrows look kind of crazy because I'm trying to let them grow back in here. So yeah, I hope I can do this and not, so you guys can see. Oh yeah, okay. What I do is I just outline my brow, I need to get it, uh, I need to get my eyebrows thinned out some because they're so full in some spots. Like right in here, see how full that is? I like to get them done. I just never went and got them done yet. I did one time, but she didn't do, she didn't take much off. I'll put it that way. Oh, sorry. The eye, uh, Pencil I'm using is the real realer or whatever it's called. Realer uh defining eyebrow pencil that I got from Boxy Charm. So yeah, that's what I do for this. Just fill them in. No, I'm not the best with my eyebrows. This is just what I do for me. There's more people on there that on YouTube that does a better job than I do. 
So then I take the spoolie in and I'm just smooth them back down and all that good stuff. And if there's any that's in there that don't need to be in there, then I get them out, blah, blah, blah. And then I go in with my concealer, which I've been using the, what is this? The Instant Age Rewind eraser that's what I've been using it looks awful but I've just been using that I've been going here 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 and here oops and then I take my small uh Milani sponge and I just tap it out and I forgot a step always Always forget a step. Always, always, always. I'll do that here in a minute. After I get this done. Here I said I wasn't going to do much makeup. And here I am doing a, almost a full face of makeup. And then I take my powder. Which is the Airspin powder. And translucent extra coverage. Oh crap. Get it everywhere, Sam, why don't you? I take my little green Lexi brush. Tap it in there. Tap it all over. Just do that. I do this to set my eyes. So that way I don't have to worry about that. To help give a little bit of extra coverage. And then I also go in and where I have wrinkles on my forehead, I'll do it on my forehead and then I'll do it on my chin. Also, but the step I forgot to tell you all that I do is I take the Benefit Gimme Brow in 4.5 and I just take it and I just go over my eyebrows, which I need to get some more of this too. I'm probably about out of this. And yeah, if you ain't noticed, I took my nails off. Don't worry, I have some more nails coming in ordered a full set of nails to do and then I take my benefit high brow and I just do the top of my brow here and pat it in and I think today I'm going to use my round drawer is this the drawer I want yes I'm going, oh sorry, I'm going to use my Rudolph one, my Rudolph palette, and use Mush Mush in the corner. Did I already use that one? Yeah, I think I did. I'm going to take my ColourPop E17 brush, and I'm just going to take it and just pop it right here in my inner corner, my inner corner, my crease of my eyelid is what I'm going to do. On both sides and I take it up my bone up to my brow bone a little bit not where I put the highlighter for my brow bone but up to it that's what I do oops almost got it there usually I take my concealer and I go back over and do a cut crease and all that stuff but I'm not going to do that today I'm going to take my finger I think and go in with hmm sorry it's my shoe do I want to do an all matte I might do an all matte color I ain't going to use my finger I'm going to use a my ColourPop E16 brush and I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with eat eat first and if it don't turn out right then I'm going to go over here with uh independent together and to see how that looks on my eyelid. Cause I, like I said, I don't want, I don't want much. I don't know about that. I won't leave it cause I don't want much of a thing. I'm just not. This is the best purchase that I ever made 
was, well, my mom made it for me. <laughs> I bought it. I bought it with my mom's money for Christmas. Was the uh, Rudolph Reynolds Reindeer Collection by ColourPop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Then I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH39 brush. And I'm going to take Mush Mush. I'm just going to smoke it out here on my bottom lashes. I don't think I'm going to do any contour today. I ain't feeling it. Or any blush. I ain't feeling it. I might do blush. I don't know. But I'm going to take my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Extra. Nope. I don't want them. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. False Lashes Mascara. <laughs> I had the uh, waterproof one, uh, but I don't want it. I just want, I just want a little bit of. on my lashes today. I don't want nothing waterproof or anything. So. Okay, yeah. so I went in with my blush. It don't look the best, but I'm about ready to do my contour. Uh, the Believe Beauty from Dollar Store in Doll Face is what I used. Love it. It's a cream. Cream. I didn't think I would love it, but I do. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to go in with my Here, the Ace Beauty Glow one, and I'm gonna do Icy as my highlight. Yeah, I gotta do highlight because, yeah, I always have highlight on. I put one there, do my nose, dip it again, and do it here. And I'm about ready to do my contour. This cream. Yeah, I ain't using that. Okay. So I'm just going to go in real quick with this cream, uh, this bronzer. I ain't going to butcher it. I'm just telling you right now, I'm not going to butcher it. Ow. Can I even get it open? Yeah. It looks like that. And I'm just going to take a... What brush shall I take? Oh, this one's brush. I'm gonna take my ColourPop F20 fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend it like this is all I'm gonna do. It may not match really well, but because I've already got my blush on, but yeah. Like I said, this is a bad bag it ready with me uh, normally I put my lips on but I'm not going to worry about lips six day and I'm gonna go back in my setting spray take my breath away and then I'm gonna take my fan go off and there's my look it's a coop ghosty boy what are you doing that's peanut butter but there's a cute oh just a big one for the puppy okay I just had me some iced coffee for my Mr. Coffee uh, machine. I'm going to do something that I've never done before. And I'm going to get a bunch of people probably coming in the comments for at me. <laughs> so don't hurt me too bad, guys. I'm going to try... Yeah, never had them before. Never had them before. So I'm going to try them. I mean, I'm going to try them. Oh, no, oh, come over there. Okay. So it says, I told you I've never had them before. Well, two cups of water in a saucepan. Add the noodles. Breaking up if desired. Cook for three minutes or until noodles are tender. Stir and occasionally remove from heat. Stir in seasoning from flavor packet to lower sodium. Use less seasoning. So, yeah, I'm going to try these. Oh, boy, here goes nothing. I don't know how good they're going to be. 
for their beef boiler. So yeah, so how much water do I need? Two cups of water. So, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm afraid I'm not gonna like them. Might have to get a chicken flavor or find something else. I think I'll bring it to a boil first. Oh, there's, there's the freezing. That's little. I hope this is good. I hope this is good. Michael got some kind of chow main spicy teriyaki beef ones it looks pretty good but i'm not big on spice so sorry guys i didn't know i said so no. a lot in this video i don't know how that's gonna go but it's that right there so if i like these i might try a different flavor i don't know because i've never had it before there's a poopy doo doos Poopy doodles. Hey, poopy doodles. He's been laying on me all morning. <coughs> it's pretty chilly here. It's 47 degrees outside. I know there's giving snow rain mixture tomorrow. So, yeah, I got some dishes to do too. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to cook this and then I'll come back on here and we'll do a taste test. Okay. I'm back. It smells pretty good. I didn't spoon it out. I just did the whole soup and all. Done in there. So, yeah. I didn't spoon it out or anything. I was just like, yeah, forget it. We'll try it. I don't have chopsticks. I don't know if you're supposed to eat with chopsticks. I eat it with a fork. Uh, I don't know how to use chopsticks. So, and if you guys do anything else to yours, let me know how you guys fix yours. I'm <laughs> so, I don't know about this now. But it does smell good. So, there we go. And I broke mine up. That actually tastes like those little um, cups that you can get in the frozen aisle, like at Food City or Walmart. That's like chow mein, whatever it's called. Uh, that flavor. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to let it sit and cool a little bit before I finish, before I even try to eat it anymore. So yeah, uh, I will see you all. If you guys want specific days that I vlog, let me know. Because I'm thinking about either doing it two times a week or three times a week. I'm not for sure. So let me know down in the comments and I'll see you later. Bye.